Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Anthony Lujan with Smoke Ain't No Joke Barbecue and the Pitmasters Podcast. Today we're going to be cooking up some pork chops with an apple brown sugar glaze. Um, we're going to be cooking them on the gas grill so you can do this in your backyard or on your back patio. So let's just get to it. All right, we're going to start off today with peeling our apples and chopping these up real quick. So we're just going to just peel these out a little bit and we're just going to chop these up. We're not looking for a lot of apples. We're just looking just for the apple flavor. This is the secret part is a lot of butter. I'll take a whole stick of butter here, our apples. And then we'll take about half a cup of brown sugar and just pour that in there. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it in our grill and we're gonna let this all melt together and um, pretty much become a liquid. And then we'll put that on the end of these pork chops when we get to that point. Now we're gonna season up our pork chops here. We got some bone in, inch and a half thick pork chops here. This is a pecan rub. You can get pecan rub pretty much at any barbecue store, um, major retailer, They're, it's usually available. So don't be shy with the barbecue rub. Lay it on there, nice and thick on all angles, all sides. After you apply the rub, you wanna probably let them sit for 10, 15 minutes before you put them on the grill. That way the rub can kinda soak in just a little bit. We're gonna put these on the grill. I'm gonna put them on the hot sear side of the grill. I'm gonna put them on there for about two minutes per side. Every 60 seconds or so, we'll just do a little twist so we can get those good looking grill marks. All right, we hit about a, our two minute point here. We'll give these a quick flip and cook off the other side here. See how well we did. Got some nice sear to it. Perfect, this is exactly what we're looking for. All right, these things have been searing for about four minutes. We're gonna move them over here to our indirect side here. So just away from the heat and slowly bring them up into temp. All righty guys. Got these pork chops on there. We have one that's hitting the target temperature of 140 degrees. We're gonna glaze that and then let it climb to the last five degrees and we'll pull it off. And then we'll let it rest for a few minutes and then we'll cut right into it. So let's get these glazed up. Got this glaze, it's just nice and bubbly in here. Just all melted together. We're just gonna tap it on there. We really don't paint it on there anymore. Let's wanna just drizzle it on there and just let it take go to all sides. There we go. And we'll let this continue to cook for another five degrees to 145 and then we'll pull it off. Our leave-in thermometer is beeping at us, letting it know we hit our target temperature at 145. We're just gonna let these rest out for maybe five minutes or so and just let them cool down a little bit, stop the, stop the cooking process before we cut them open. I'm gonna hit them with a little bit more glaze. Let's cut into one and see how well we did. So I'm gonna start off taking this bone off. We're gonna cut this on the bias and yeah, we got that perfect all the way cooked through pork chop there. Amazing, it turned out perfect. And you can get these extra thick ones at any local butcher shop. And what's nice about them is one's enough for two people. Give it a taste, see how we did. Spot on, just how we like them. I'm Anthony Lujan with Smoke Ain't No Joke Barbecue, Pitmasters Podcast. We'll be right back with At Your Leisure.